If you're feeling stressed and down and out, just pick up your teddy bear and give it a big hug. Or drink beer. Do we have any beer? I want some of that. Hello to the people watching my face today. I recently went to an art gallery museum thing, and while it was nice, I tried to be all arty and look at things, and it just really confused me. I just didn't get it. There were people there who looked like were getting much more experience out of the art than I was, and I just was a bit lost. So as I walked around this gallery and looked at statues of naked people and paintings of naked people and there was naked people walking around in gen general, I don't think there was an art gallery. The point is there was art there. So being a 20th century kid, I thought, I'm going to go home and call up someone about art. University how can I help you? Hi, um, I'd like to learn about art, please. Excuse me? Then I realised it was the 21st century and no one actually used phones anymore, so I jumped online, did some research, and I present to you how to look at art. First of all, you need to identify what is art. There are many things in this world, and not all of it is art. But once you do find the art, you need to stare at it in the correct manner. To begin with, you must stand at the appropriate distance from the art, also known as the Art Focal Range, or AFR. Stand too close and you will look like you've fallen asleep against the art. Too far away, and you will look like you are not interested in the art. Once you have found the correct AFR, you must tilt your head in the correct manner to fully experience the art. Science has also proven that standing in different positions while viewing art will better increase your understanding of the art. So experiment and see what angles best work for you. Ah, now it is time to examine the art. Make sure you pick one thing from the art that seems to have no significance to the piece at all. For example, in this piece, if we take a look at the lady cutting their cake, we can see that she and the people around her are in a more prominent position of power, while others, like the cup next to the cake, are forced into poverty. But if we look deeper, then we can see that galleries are just collections of life's precious moments frozen in time just putting on a show so we, the general public, can just walk around in the physical parameters of time and space, just peering into windows of other people's minds and souls, while well, making uninformed comments. And the more we talk and the more we communicate about these pieces of art, the more we are sucked in and drawn into it until we ironically become what we initially mocked. Or not. So yeah, um, I don't really get art, but I know people like it, it's a thing. Uh, leave in the comments below if you're an art person. Uh, do, you, do you find it exhilarating? Oh, that's, that's, that's not art, that's glasses. But yeah, are you an art fanatic? Do you love the smell and taste of art? Or are you just as just confused as I am? Let me know, and as always, comment blah 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 blah, subscribe blah blah blah, and I'll see everyone next week.